Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another vlog. This time I wanted to talk about uh, Brexit. So in the last days I've been talking about this quite a lot uh, with my friends and with my boyfriend. And the main topic was uh, did Brexit influence me leaving the UK? I think that yes, Brexit didn't directly influence uh, me moving out. I had a job, I actually had uh, more than one job offer uh, from London when I left and no one kicked me out because I'm European. In a way I think Brexit influenced me, uh, influenced my situation as well. Just shortly before the Brexit happened I started looking for a new job and I haven't mentioned this before but I'm an architect and uh, at the time of the Brexit I had about uh, four and a half uh, uh, years of working experience so my expectations for a job were quite high both, for, both as a salary and for other requirements that I was looking for. As soon as I started looking for a new job uh, I immediately noticed a couple of things one was that I could see a lot less offers respect to the previous years and that was of course related to the Brexit. This might be because there's, there, there was and there still is a sort of uncertainty of what is gonna happen, uh, what are the new regulations gonna be for European people or in general for uh, any sort of uh, um, trade for, with Europe. So just wanted to stress on the fact that not only European people were influenced by this but also British people. I heard of British people who lost their job and the companies which they were employed for, they, they blamed the, black, the Brexit. So of course we, can't, we cannot know if that's true or not, but that's what they've been told to. The second thing I noticed was that uh, the salaries that uh, they have been offered were a lot less respect to the previous year. Of course, that's not a good sign. It means that there's a, there is a small internal crisis going on. It also means that uh, there were a lot of uh, um, people looking for a job, so they could afford to uh, offer less because there were more people, there were more um, demand than offer. One of the time I've been called for an interview, they told me they received more than 400 CVs and I was one of the six people they called in. So that kind of gives you an idea of how many people were looking for a job at the time. Anyway, regardless of these difficulties, I actually received a couple of job a couple of job offers. So if I wanted to, I could have actually stayed in the, in the United Kingdom, and uh, I was really tempted due to the fact that uh, I like U I like UK a lot uh, and I lived there for a long period of time. But at the end, I decided to come to Sweden because the offer that had been given was so much better than uh, all the ones that I got uh, from you from London. Also another personal reason is uh, I never liked uh, living in London too much and that's you know a long a long talk that uh, I'm not gonna start uh, now with you. So to summarize uh, a couple of points uh, I didn't find any problems getting job offer just because I was European. It might be that I've been offered a lower salary because I'm European but that will not surprise me too much. It's kind of a standard that if you are a foreigner person, you're a bit less fussy when it's about uh, when it comes to get a new job. Third, no one is kicking out European people out of UK, not yet at least. So what are my advices for uh, people who wants to move to UK right now? In general, I think uh, uh, you can still find a job if it's not in a specialized sector or if your CV it's uh, really really good and you have a uh, different years of experience so you have a lot to offer and you're very competitive. Otherwise I think it can be a bit hard to find a medium way position at this time because as I mentioned there are many people looking for a job, there is a bit of a crisis due to the Brexit and there are still lots of uncertainty about the new regulation. At the same time in my opinion, if you really want to move to UK this might be the right time to do it because if you wait any longer you don't know what kind of rules uh, are gonna be decided in the future and it might be uh, harder to move in the future. As a personal advice, I think it's uh, already time to look to new uh, places where to move. Europe, uh, it's becoming a bit of a full market and uh, UK, it's, uh, it's not the sort of gold mine that used to be there's too many people looking for jobs, there are lots of foreigners, you're, uh, you're not special because you have a different experience, actually there is still lots of CVs from countries like Italy, Spain, even France, so 
I heard it many times when I went to interviews, oh, we had so many other Italians applying for this job. Uh, so it's not, that, it's not that easy anymore. If you're an architect, uh, you actually might want to subscribe because I'm gonna make a video about uh, how you can prepare your CVs and uh, what steps I suggest you to take uh, if you wanna apply for a job in the UK. So this was my personal experience about how Brexit, Brexit influenced my situation in UK and how indirectly led me to move outside the UK. So I hope you liked the video and found this interesting. If you have any comments or questions, please leave me a comment below. Uh, see you next week. Bye!